And gentlemen, you know the game? The new Grand Tour game. In which you get to play actual scenes from the tour scenes from the tour scenes from the tour scenes from the tour scenes from the show. Yes. Are you all right? Yeah, never mind him. I've been playing the game and I've realised something. You know multiplayer mode? Well, sort of. Multiplayer mode allows up to four players to play alongside each other. Exactly. Well, I think it needs more gadgets. Gadgets? Gadgets. Gadgets are an integral part of the Grand Tour gaming experience, allowing you to enhance your own vehicle or compromise that of a rival. Right, OK, and you think we need more of them? Exactly. Hmm. OK, well, what if your car could throw out a load, throw out a load of teacups on from the track and then, and then puncture your rival's tyres? What about a smokescreen that came out of your car so the person behind and your other rivals couldn't see where they were going? What if your car ejected a load of ice cream that went onto the track and then made it really slippy so that your rivals skidded off? What you're doing is saying things that you're literally putting into your face at that moment. I'm not. What about if your car fired fireworks out of it to distract your rivals? What if... Cheese. We're not going to have cheese coming out of the cars. Hammond, have you got any ideas? Gadgets are an integral part of the Grand Tour gaming experience, allowing you to enhance your own vehicle or compromise that of a rival. You've already said that. Has he had an accident we don't know about? Almost certainly. The Grand Tour game. Incredible cars, questionable behaviour.